So here the term biosphere it includes the living things plus the things that are necessary for the life the living things they cannot live in isolation a life is existing in the sense a living thing is living in the sense it need to have soil water air so the strata the layer in which all these by living things they are able to live with the help of soil water and air you consider it as a biosphere biosphere in the sense not the living organisms in isolation living organisms along with the other things that help them to continue the life of the living organisms so here you can divide it into two but here the living things are biotic components of the biosphere and the non living things are called as abiotic components of the biosphere so biosphere consisted of two kind of components one is biotic and the abiotic even in the biotic there are three groups plants animals and microorganisms so the biotic components include plant animal and microorganisms abiotic components include soil water and air so here now first we are going to talk about this air the importance of the air the breath of life that is air so we know what is air air is a mixture of gas air is a mixture of gases what kind of gases are there there are so many gases present in the air if you see that it depends upon the percentages if you see nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide there are many more gases but primarily these are the gases which we are talking now because we are going to see how these primary uh, gases present in the air how they are affecting so basically the air contains nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide so among these three oxygen it promotes the life many organisms prokaryotic organisms some of the prokaryotic most of the all the eukaryotic organisms and multicellular organisms unicellular as well as multicellular organisms which carry out aerobic respiration they need oxygen even we are aerobic organisms means we are eating food to generate energy from the food we need to breathe oxygen this oxygen in enters the cells and help in the cellular respiration so by the en energy is derived from the food if you do not have oxygen in the atmosphere if you eat food there is no use you cannot get energy from the food which we have eaten without the presence of oxygen so all the aerobic organisms they require the supply of oxygen and the source is atmosphere the air contains proper amount of oxygen so that is the reason if you go to other planet where there is oxygen in the atmosphere you cannot make a living you need to carry your own oxygen cylinders otherwise you cannot make living because oxygen is very essential for the living organisms especially for the aerobic organisms and in fact majority of the organisms are aerobic organisms right so oxygen is very important second thing carbon dioxide i told you the fact without oxygen you cannot utilize your food but without carbon dioxide there is no food at all see how carbon dioxide is the main source for the food preparation food where do you get the food you get vegetarian food or non vegetarian food you may get some kind of rice dal from where does this rice and dal comes they come from the plants from where do the plants get this rice uh, nutrients the plants they prepare the nutrients with the help of sunlight at the same time they use carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is the chief component by which the plants make their food which is consumed by other animals like humans so plants are the major suppliers or producers of food plants make the food using sunlight and using carbon dioxide as a source material raw material so carbon dioxide is the primary compound inorganic compound which is a main part or major part of our food so we are eating carbon compounds every day 
we are eating carbohydrate proteins fats all these are carbon compounds so all these carbon compounds are prepared by the plants by using this carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is very very important oxygen is very very important even nitrogen is very very important we will realize the importance of nitrogen in the coming sessions of course the air contains some other gases of course the air contains other parts like uh, dust particles and water vapor moisture everything so let us talk about this oxygen and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is percentage is less in our atmosphere it's a fraction the carbon dioxide how it is produced oxygen is produced by plants green plants by photosynthesis so this is the way how oxygen is produced now see carbon dioxide how it is produced carbon dioxide is produced by respiration all the aerobic organisms they respire and they produce carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is produced by respiration at the same time carbon dioxide is also produced by burning of fossil fuels fossil fuels are burned when you burn wood paper cloth coal petrol diesel kerosene oil whatever the uh, uh, fuels you burn materials you burn carbon dioxide is released especially fossil fuels in the sense if you burn the coal petroleum diesel all these are burnt in factories in generators in motor vehicles so for the mechanical work the fuels are burnt and when these fuels are burnt co2 is released into the atmosphere <coughs> so even though the co2 is released into atmosphere by various activities the percentage of co2 is not drastically increased in the atmosphere because here co2 is produced by these activities and at the same time the co2 is fixed by other activities like uh, photosynthesis means the excess photo carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere is converted to carbohydrates again by photosynthesis and uh, certain marine organisms they form their shells by carbon they form carbonate shells in this way the carbon is fixed again so whatever the carbon large amounts of carbon is produced that carbon is fixed again by this different methods like photosynthesis and shells by the carbon uh, carbon carbonates right so this is the way the carbon dioxide which is produced into the atmosphere is fixed so these are the compositions and we have realized the importance of this oxygen and carbon dioxide that is for the uh, existence of the life if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus